up, you're so shiny. Show me that hip trick that you're so good at. Wow, you have hips that don't lie. Robocop, I love you. Will you be my valentine? Madam, you are suffering emotional shock. I will notify an online dating site. Maybe you will meet a man dressed up like a spider. Dead or alive, you should get your Robocop figures at BigBadToyStore.com. Link is in the description. What up big kids, here's your big review of the Robocop 1987 NECA Toys Robocop featuring spring loaded hoster 7 inch movie toy. So here we got the Robocop packaging and the nice clamshell packaging shows Robocop and it says feature spring loaded holster with the Robocop uh, helmet. Back here shows like Robocop's 25th anniversary part man, part machine, all cop, the future of law enforcement and you can see the OCP police number 01 and even has the instructions on how they do it, which I'll show in the video. What's well, time for this cop to spring into action? And here action. we got the Robocop 1987 NECA Toys Robocop with automatic holster. This figure, not only would I buy this for a dollar, I buy it for even more. It is awesome. Let's take a closer look at it. NECA's done an amazing job on the sculpting of the Robocop line. Uh, you can definitely see the Peter Weller uh, likeness and uh, the Alex Murphy um, you know, chin right there. Uh, this doesn't have a removable helmet, uh, which would have been cool, uh, but I know that maybe down the line we'll get a battle. I know they made a battle damage uh, Robocop, but we'll get one with a removable uh, helmet to show Alex Murphy. But the paint on here and sculpting is exceptional. De definitely top notch in this um, you know, scale. Definitely like only thing that could beat this is Hot Toys, I think, and that's in one six scale, but you can see the paint abs sculpting on the abs area which is very nice sculpting on his um, hand and just beautiful paint it's like this nice silver bluish dry brushing which i really like i really wish NECA had the license to the new robocop movie because you can see how much the difference and how much they would have made probably that those figures look amazing i love that they has real working pistons that i'll show here in a bit and the back here is a little button for uh, his little holster that um, will be retract that's retractable that I'll show here in a bit. But yeah, just all the little detail and bits are just absolutely astonishing. You know, at the bottom right here, and you can see the OCP. Now for articulation, Robocop has pretty much the tar articulation you expect, uh, probably a little bit more than he had in the actual movie. His head can fully rotate, as well as go up and down on a nice like ball joint. It can go pivot of uh, side to side. His arms can fully rotate as well as go in and out that much. There's no bicep uh, swivel which makes sense because of the way his armor was he didn't have in the movie. Uh, his elbows can bend at almost 90 degree angle. Uh, the wrists uh, rotate right here um, at this nice cut right there. Now he does have this upper ab kind of crunch that um, moves left and right. You could uh, I think you can fully rotate it. I, I don't want to try to break it though, but it can pivot forward and back a little bit. And he does have a nice waist joint that fully rotates. Now his legs uh, can uh, uh, move forward and back really good. And they're all in this nice ball joint that can go uh, in and out just that much, just a little bit, you know, like I said, he, it makes sense for how, the way his suit is. And his uh, leg can bend a full 90 degrees. Um, and what's really cool, uh, his ankles have a real, the real working piston, so they pivot forward and back. No real ankle pivot side to side, but still really good articulation. Now the main selling point of this figure, besides the figure itself, is the retractable holster, his leg holster that he used in the movie. Now the way this works, this little uh, switch right here, you just push it up and you can see the gun moves up. Now the way you would uh, do this, uh, you just simply... Um, to retract it back, you just push it forward on the front panel, only the front panel. You don't move this part any, any a bit, and it just retracts. So just do this, and yeah. So it works really, really well. A really cool little feature, and of course, it holds his Auto 9 uh, pistol that um, is pretty easy to get out. You just have to make sure you line up the little um, um, trigger inside this little uh, peg right here, you can see that. But then yeah, you just close it back up. Really nice sculpting on the Auto 9. 
just a nice black plastic, but you know, it was just pretty much black in the movie. The other accessory that Robocop has is the data spike hand that he used in the movie. We remove the right hand. By the way, you can remove the left hand, but it's not, I don't think it was made to, but I did that by accident off camera. Uh, but yeah, so you do that and you just insert it in here. It's pretty easy to switch out for the most part. You just have to be careful not to break this since it's a pliable plastic and you don't want to worry about breaking that because the plastic, but yeah. So you can see his data spike there, looking really cool. Hey, 1987 Robocop, what do you think of your new look? Pretty sleek, huh? I come in black, chicks dig black like Batman. What do I think of your new look? This is what I think. Size comparison time. So here you can see that the neck of Robocop is a little bit bigger than standard six inch figures like the Movie Masters Batman, the Robocop crappy J <laughs> Robocop Jada Toys uh, six inch figure, or Marvel Legends Amazing Spider 2 figure. But even with that, it still, I think, works well with 6-inch figures since Robocop is meant to be a little bit taller. I have to applaud NECA for really making the best 6-7-inch Robocop figure that you can get. I really love this version of the best. There was a regular Robocop figure that came out without the retractable holster, but that one, the only difference is, of course, it's a solid leg piece and there's not that switch in the bag. But I think I'd rather have the little switch in the back to have the cool retractable uh, leg holster and, and instead of it looking more accurate overall. So I'd rather have the cool function over aesthetics any day. I love that he comes with the retractable hand for his data spike. Besides from Hot Toys, uh, NECA is doing the best Robocop figures out there and I absolutely love this figure. I can't say the praises enough. You can buy this right now at BigBadToyStore.com. Link is in the description. Uh, definitely way better than the crappy uh, RoboCrab Jada Toys figures. I, I would say, you know, get this one and you'll be super happy with it and I highly recommend it. And you can also win a Hot Toys Mandarin figure from Iron Man 3 from Sideshow Collectibles. Link is in the description there how to enter. And also check out more on my website at seanxlong.com and at hugenerd.net. I'm Sean Long. Remember to live long and love life. Check out Sean Long. Jason David Frank. Tommy the Green Ranger. <laughs> so you don't like how I look in the new movie? Well, take that. Is that all you got? What do you expect? I'm PG-13. Well, I'm rated R. Your move, creep. Oh, 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 oh. That was in the reboot, then I buy that for a dollar.